as we walk down 16th Street in Washington, D.C., and look at, out in Meridian Park, we see the Step Pyramid that's on top of the Scottish Rite Masonic Temple. If we look at this Step Pyramid or the roof that's in the Step Pyramid shape, it almost takes us back to ancient Kemet when we see the Step Pyramid of King Zosa or Horus Necheiket or Haru Necheiket, as referred to him in the Old Kingdom. If you look at these two structures, it's very hard to make the conclusion that the roof of this Masonic temple was not directly influenced by the design of the step pyramid. But let's take a closer look at pyramids and where their design come from and how pyramids evolved from the original concept of the rebirth of creation or the, the mound of creation coming forth from the primary waters of noon and how the whole creation story is embedded within pyramid architecture. If we go back to ancient times, pre-dynastic times in ancient Kemet, we see what was referred to as tumulus, which is the round, oval-shaped, gray structures which was just packed with dirt. This mound was laid on top of the graves of the people of royalty in pre-dynastic times. That eventually evolved in what the Arabs call today a mastaba. The step pyramid is a series of six mastabas placed one on top of one another. But before we get into what the mastaba was and how it evolved into the step pyramid, let's take a step back to the tumulus. Tumulus primarily are found in what they refer to as the Middle Nile region. That's the lower and upper Nubia connection there we have, where Egypt and Nubia or Kemet and Nubia intertwined or mingled or mixed or confluenced with one another. Here you find some of the oldest forms of iconography in the Nile. We are familiar with the coastal instant burner and how it gives us an idea of kingship or the regalia of kingship of the Nile prior to dynastic Kemet. Hello? What's up? Where are you? I'm right here. Where? Right here. The mom? Right here. This is very interesting. Well done, Ram. When we speak about the mound and what was used to cover these burials, we know they were just basically just earth and clay. Nothing dramatic. The stone masonry or the ability to work stone has not been perfected. But the fantastic thing is when we move into the step pyramid complex, now we see the evolution in building in stone. We also see the evolution in building in columns. Although those columns within the colonnade hall of the step pyramid were supported, you now see man begin to explore the ideals of building columns. However, when we go back before the evolution of the step pyramid and the building in stone, we have to talk about what came after the mound impacted clays of earth and the tumulus. We step into a field where we now is talk about man building with mud brick. Using mud brick to build his structures. 